Italian butter cookies. Cookies are our all-time favorite holiday snacks. We couldn't help but come up with yet another amazing recipe, the Italian butter cookies. These traditional butter cookies may be familiar to some from their neighborhood Italian-American bakery, while others may recall their swirly shapes from cookie tins positioned around the holiday table. During my time working as a pastry chef at the Leonelli Bakery in New York City, I developed a love for Italian butter cookies. They are not only one of my favorite desserts to enjoy with family, but I also found making them utterly soothing. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cookie and today's video is all the beautiful and delicious Italian butter cookies. So if you want to know how to make the bakery's famous cookies, let's get started then. Did you know that despite many people who think these famous cookies are Italian, they are actually a variation of the spritz cookie the Scandinavian immigrants created? So for these cookies to be great, the key is that they should have a tender crumb, be soft without being chewy, and have a strong butter flavor. While some recipes called for almond paste, we try to keep these ones straightforward so you could use your imagination when it comes to fillings and decorations. Also, another thing I believe is very important is making sure your ingredients are at room temperature and properly creaming the butter and sugar to the fluffiest consistency. It is very important for smooth production. And guys, it's essential that the yolks come from large eggs because otherwise the dough won't have enough moisture for piping. Once the dough is combined, we fill a pastry bag with and pipe out our cookies. I believe that the good butter cookies are light and not overly sweet with most of the sugar coming from the decorations, whether they are dipped in chocolate or sandwiched with jam. We strongly advise you try a couple of sandwiches with your favorite spread even if you don't like jammy cookies. Ingredients Now let's see what you'll need to make these yummy cookies. 2 cups of cake flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 1 and a quarter cups of confectioner sugar, 3 quarter cup of unsalted butter softened at room temperature, a quarter cup of vegetable shortening softened at room temperature, one envelope of vanilla lena or vanilla extract, two eggs. Method. Okay, so before we get started with mixing, I'm going to let my oven preheat to 375 degrees. Now I'll get my baking tray ready by lining it with parchment paper. For these cookies, you will need a piping bag with a star tip to pipe out your cookies in a beautiful spiral shape. Now in a bowl, I'll add the cake flour and the salt. Now mix them together and then take another bowl in which you'll need to add your butter and shortening. Although I substitute vegetable shortening for lard, you could use that instead. Make sure the butter and the shortening are at room temperature. I'm just going to smoosh them. I'm using my spatula and my bowl for this. Today I won't be using a mixer because it's so simple I'll just finish it by hand. Confectioner sugar will be added and I'll really really work it in. Well, this helps you get the most amazing texture for your cookies as a result, which is absolutely necessary for this kind of cookie. Now the mixture appears good. I'm including my eggs now. I'll just keep mixing this with a spatula until everything is thoroughly combined. If you wanted, you could use a whisk, but I'm going to work hard on this and I'm starting it with my spatula. I'm going to add my dry ingredients now and gently fold them in until everything is combined and blended in together. I don't want to work this too hard because it can end up getting me hard cookies. So I'm planning to keep them as delicate, buttery, and delicious as possible. Okay, I'll take my cookie dough and place it in my piping bag. Okay, I'm beginning to gather the dough into a single corner. Let's move this around, and after that, you can just make little mounds just like this. You'll make a much nicer job of it than I did, but let's face it, I lack patience, but these will be lovely to look at and delicious to eat. You are now free to use any sprinkles you like. You can use jam as well, any topping will work. There's nothing more that needs to be added. These cookies taste fantastic and are ideal for holidays, be it Easter or Christmas. I can assure you that both adults and children will enjoy these on your tea table. Don't you think these look pretty adorable? I just find them pretty and good. Well, let's place these in the 375 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for nine to 11 minutes or until golden. So our cookies are out of the oven now. They're a lovely light golden brown. I'll just allow them to cool slightly so that they don't crumble. And the cookies are a little cool now. We are done with the making process, but I can assure you that that is the best butter cookie you have ever tasted. Anyway, they have completely cooled so I can pick them up right away. Check that out, they're just beautiful. This one right here is what I was going for. Let's break them and see how they look from the inside. Just look at that, they're lovely and crumbly. Let's try it out. Do you recall maybe at your house when you were a child or maybe not, there were numerous flavors of cookies in a blue tin that the cookies came in? Say you do, please. They were contained in a blue tin like a tin of aluminum. 
One of the variety of cookies they offer is similar to a buttery biscuit. Italian butter cookies that resemble this but are more attractive. These taste exactly like that. Therefore, if you enjoy those, you will adore this recipe. It ranks right up there with my favorite butter cookies of all time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel on your way out. Keep watching for more cookie recipes. Happy baking!